The moon was coming up in the east, behind me, and stars were shining in the clear sky above me. I was flying my old Dakota aeroplane, over France back to England. I was dreaming of my holiday, and looking forward to being with my family. I looked at my watch, 1.30 in the morning. I should call Paris Control. Paris Control, Dakota DS-088 here. Can you hear me? I'm on my way to England. Over. TS-088, I can hear you. You ought to turn 12 degrees west now, TS-088. Over. I'll be in time for breakfast. A good big English breakfast. Everything is going well. It's an easy flight. Paris was about 150 kilometers behind me when I saw the clouds. Storm clouds. They were huge. They looked like black mountains. I cannot fly up over the clouds and I do not have enough fuel to fly around them to the north or south. I should go back to Paris. But I want to go home. I want the breakfast. I will take the risk. I'll fly my old Dakota straight into the storm. Inside the clouds, everything was suddenly black. It was impossible to see anything outside the airplane. The old airplane jumped and twisted in the air. I looked at the compass. It was turning round and round and round. It was dead. The other instruments were dead, too. I tried the radio. Paris Control. Paris Control. Can you hear me? The radio is dead too. I've no radio, no compass, and I can't see where I am. And in the black clouds quite near me, I saw another airplane. It had no lights on its wings. But I could see it flying next to me through the storm. I could see the pilot's face, turn towards me. He lifted one hand, and waved. He knows that I am lost. He's trying to help me. He turned his aeroplane slowly to the north, in front of my Dakota, so that it would be easier for me, to follow him. I was very happy to go behind the strange aeroplane, like an obedient child. After half an hour, the strange black aeroplane was still there. There was only enough fuel in the old Dakota's last tank, to fly for five or ten minutes more. I was starting to feel frightened again. But then, he started to go down, and I followed. A runway. An airport. I am safe. I turned to look for my friend in the black airplane, but the sky was empty. There was nothing there. The black airplane was gone. I landed and was not sorry to walk away from the old Dakota, near the control tower. Madam. Where was I in the storm? And who was the pilot of the other aeroplane? I wanted to say him, thank you. Another aeroplane. Up there in this storm. No other aeroplanes were flying tonight. Yours was the only one I could see on the radar. What? So who helped me to arrive safely without a compass or a radio, and without any more fuel in my tanks? Who was the pilot on the strange black aeroplane, flying in the storm, without lights?